Wales. The judges are from Philippines, Wales, Belarus, Bulgaria, France. And the referee is Bob Vivela Yusin. And now he's welcome. In the red corner, representing India, Amit. And this is a rematch too, because these met in the semi-finals of the Asian Championships. Smart of winning that on the way to gold, but Amit picked up a bronze at that competition. He's had two fights already, beat Federico Serra 4-1 in the opening round, and a good win against Carlos Kipo. Carlos Kipo was a fancied fighter by quite a few heading into this competition, but he was knocked out by Amit. Smartov, gold at the Asian Championships is described also at the same competition in 2015. Olympic champion, gold medalist at Rio and voted best boxer of the competition as well. Boxed a lot in World Series boxing. He's been in the last two World Championships but hasn't medalled. I first saw him in the flash at the last World Championships. And he's really come on in the couple of years since. That's the previous round there for Amit. He's fallen to him. Smartov, one of the nine Uzbek fighters who won gold at the Asian Championships. They've got a very strong team that's really hit the ground running early in this new Olympic cycle. Don Rivera of the USA taking charge. Two southpaws, Amit of India in the red, Dismato of Uzbekistan in the blue. this opening round so far. Smartov's been the one going forward, he's thrown more, he hasn't really got that much through, nor has Amit though. But the more proactive boxer has been the Uzbek and that can count. Should count in this kind of scenario where it's not really an awful lot to get too excited about from either of them. The 
big with that front foot there as well to try and see if he could draw something from Amit then leapt in behind the lead right hook which again didn't find a way through Goes the end of the first round, and it pops up a one-two right on the belt. Uh, it's fairly quiet that really, but it's just Martov's round because he was the one on the front foot. He was the one throwing most of the punches, and Amit has got to do more if he wants to win this fight. from the Indian. Smartov in the blue, Amit of India in the red, Smartov, the reigning Olympic champion from Uzbekistan. is the Indian fighter. Lead right hook there for Dismartov. It was a good shot. Straight left hand for Amit. That's the one that he has the most joy with. Right to the body. But there's nothing wrong with that. They were just fighting in close. The heads weren't really going to crack together. And so it's the same thing again there, Don Rivera. And OK, the heads are in relative proximity there, but they were... They look at the fight on the inside and get up close and fight them. Can't stop them doing that. Successes and he's doing more in this round. And she's just been smothered there from Dismart, so obviously slightly too close to chop down with the left hand. Didn't make contact long. Backhand, left hand there from Dismartov. Once more, didn't really hit the target. Good jab, really nice jab there from Amit. Bell's got, bell goes. That was a good round, I felt. It was a very tight round, and it was a good round, I think, for the Indian fighter. Zamato was busy again. He was on the front foot again, but very little got through. Most of it landed on the gloves, on the forearms. It was a little bit too close a lot of the time. And this is a tight fight from where I'm sitting. Beautiful job. A 
needed to do more in that second round for Boxer in red, and he did do that. So, third and final round. That's Hassan Boydus Martov, Popovic Stall, reigning Olympic champion, Asian champion, Amit of India. He's won two fights already for the World Championships. Could he make it a third and pull off a big, big upset? And I'm giving it one round apiece going into the third round, that's how I'm seeing it. that right hook he's done that quite a lot in this fight this mile so it hasn't really come off for him and just loading up with that big right hand and he's looked to land that a lot Side, but just Mart of an opening minute of that round is he's been on the front foot again. He's been the one who's been busier, he's been the one trying to make the fight. Ahmed has been forced onto his back foot, hasn't really managed to throw much off that back foot. He needs to do something about that. He needs to try and bring it to just Mart of a bit more, or this last round is going to slip away from him. Second half of the final round. Smarter with a nice right hand to the body there. Amit pops off the one two, but it was taken on the gloves, just wasn't quite in range. two rounds to one in favour of the Uzbek. And then the first and the third gave Amit that second. Good fight though, good quality fight. I mean, if I look back on that and feel that he could possibly have done a bit more, but it's easy to say that when you're up against an Olympic champion, it's, it's harder to do. Philippines who did give India a round. I gave him the second Amit. But uh, Dusmatov took care of business there. And gets the win by unanimous decision and he will go through to the semi-finals where he'll face Yubichin Martinez in a rematch of their 2016 